Thanks, Jennifer. We are following breaking news this morning as protests in Milwaukee turned destructive and violent overnight. Police clashed with angry demonstrators for a second night in a row over the shooting death of Silva Smith. NBC 26's Brooke Hapes joins us now with more on what's developed overnight. Brooke? Haley, things are quiet right now, but overnight there were tensions in Milwaukee's Sherman Park neighborhood. We also know an 18-year-old man was shot. Officers had to use an armored vehicle in order to rescue the protester so he could be taken to a hospital. Protesters were throwing rocks, bricks, and glass bottles at police. An officer was also taken to the hospital after being injured when a thrown rock broke through the windshield of a squad car. The violence broke out after a police shooting Saturday afternoon. Police reporting the officer shot and killed an armed suspect. They say Silville Smith was carrying a stolen semi-automatic handgun. It's unfortunate and sad what happened to that young man, but now a whole community is messed up. And a lot of times when you destroy something, it never comes back. Around 11 o'clock last night, police dressed in riot gear to break up the crowd once protests became violent. Officers arrested several protesters who refused to leave the area. Now, we don't have an exact number confirmed how many were arrested at this time. A car fire also broke out overnight, and things settled down around 1.30 this morning, and police boarded buses to pull back from the area. Now, Milwaukee's Sheriff Clark asked Governor Walker to put the Wisconsin National Guard on standby. Governor Walker agreed and now members are on alert just in case they are needed. Brooke Hafes, NBC 26.